guys. So I just washed out my Ninja because I made a protein shake earlier this morning. So now I have my bowl. I have my strawberries. I have my triple berry blend with blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. And my Greek yogurt that is in honey vanilla. The only thing that I'm missing right now is my granola bar. But I'm going to um, smash it up and put it on top. I buy the bars just so I have the option to bring the granola bar with me. Like if I'm running errands or something. So it's a good balance. I just break it up if I put it in my bowl for breakfast. So I'm going to slice up some strawberries. And I will come back in a second and show you how I do it. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, so I'm back with my measuring cup, my spoon, and my granola bar. I'm about to start. I'm going to start off with putting the um, a cup of the berry blend in the um, Ninja. And then I'm going to put some of the Greek yogurt in to kind of smooth it out a little bit and make it more. We're not making like a smoothie. We're making it a little bit thicker to do like a acai bowl or a kai bowl, whatever it's called. Um, I'm sure someone will correct me. But anyways, so that's the, the mission here. I went to Jamba Juice before with... I'm sorry, that's uh, Elijah in the background. He is still sick. My poor little baby, he's um, coughing in his sleep. Um, but Jamba Juice is where we went and I was like, oh my God, this is so good. But I realized in Jamba Juice that they use, um, puree and that's not really good for you. So I wanted to go the more natural route because this has no added sweeteners and <laughs> great for smoothies. Um, so anyways, so I'm going to make my own bowl and see how it goes. Actually, I know how it's going to go because I've had it before, but anyways, so. So just I have my it. cup of berries. I'm just gonna add that in here. Uh oh, I forgot the little spinner thing. Dang it. Okay, let me put that in first because I just cleaned it. There we go. Now I'm gonna take a scoop, no, two scoops of um, my yogurt. Just gonna put that in there. And I'm generous with my scoops, as you can see. Uh oh. But, um,. I'm going to put that in there as well. We're just using this to kind of smooth it out and add some texture and taste to it. Let me just do one little baby scoop. It looks messy. I, like, I don't know where my cutting board is, so I had to use a napkin, which is really cheesy. But anyways... So I cut up my strawberries because that's going to go on top once I make my concoction right here. So I just used these strawberries. I got them from Sam's. They're so good, red, and they taste good. Sweet. So anyways, I normally cut up. Sorry about that. My poor baby is so sick. Um, but I normally cut up bananas too, but I am kind of full. Well, like I'm not really hungry, too hungry right now. So... I'm just going to stick with strawberries and my granola because that's going to be like the filler right there. So anyways, I'm going to put this on medium. Actually, I'm going to start off on low because I don't want it to be too smooth. So I'm going to start off on low and maybe pulse it a little bit just to kind of keep a little bit of the thickness. Because last time I did it, it was a little too smooth. So I'm learning my lesson. But anyways, I'm going to come right back and show you the texture that I would like. I'm gonna add a little bit of my fair life milk. I'm not gonna do a lot. Just I just kind of do a little bit. And a, oh. <laughs> oh my god. And a little bit. Great, I gotta clean that up now. So I don't know if you can see, but this is the kind of consistency I want. So we're good to go. I'm gonna take this out and put it in our bowl, and we will see. The invitation is key, darling. <laughs> this is not cute, but whatever. I don't care. 
It's going to be eaten anyway, so right? I used the whole bag because I was hungrier then. <laughs> but today I'm kind of not. I, you can use whatever um, fruit you want on the top. If you are not a strawberry eater, you can do bananas. You can do kiwi. Whatever you want to do. I just personally love um, strawberries. So the last step after you do the granola is to clean up your mess. Oh, I'm about to ruin the dish. Anywho, but voila, there it is. So enjoy your meal. <laughs> I um I actually do eat this. Um, Reggie just got me the ninja, but I've been um doing this a lot lately for my breakfast, and it's so good and it's very filling. So try it out and let me know how it goes for you. Wait, don't tell Reggie, but I tried one of his body armor drinks yesterday. I tried the fruit punch one. It is so good. It kind of tastes like, like that very fine drink from uh, Sam's. If anyone's ever tried it before, it comes in a big jug, but it's so good. But don't tell Reggie, I, I drank his stuff. While <laughs> I eat my food, I'm gonna sit next to my little man. Oh, y'all pray for my baby. He's not feeling good. The pediatrician recommended, um, oh, actually, let me just show you what it is. He hates it. When I tell you hates it, he tried to gag it up and spit it up um, this morning because he really hates the taste. But it has been working. It makes him feel a little bit better. Let me show you Zarbies or Zar Zarbies. Yeah. <laughs> Naturals baby cough syrup and um, mucus. And it doesn't have any... Um, alcohol or drugs in it or anything like that it's completely natural um and i got it in the grape flavor because he has the infant tylenol that he takes um that's in the flavor grape and he likes it but this when i tell you hates with a capital h he hates it <laughs> but i mean it has been helping and this is the only thing that he can take um because he's still under um uh, well he's two well he's gonna he's four months actually tomorrow um, but this is the only thing that he can take because he is so young. Um, everything else is like two years old and older. So it has been working. I just kind of have to force him to take it really. So I'm going to sit next to my little baby and eat my stuff. But I've been looking rough for the past few days because I've been taking care of this little, little kid. It makes me so sad to see him sick though, but um, especially since he's so young. But um, I talked to his pediatrician yesterday and I explained to her what the um, symptoms were. Let me turn the TV down. But um, so he's been coughing really bad, um, sneezing, and he doesn't have a fever. I've checked every day and every other hour. So he doesn't have a fever, um, but he has a runny nose as well. And she said that a respiratory virus was going around for kids his age um and it should go away within a week but he does go back to the pediatrician next week um for more of his shots um and so hopefully he doesn't get sick from that too because he did the last time and he was throwing up a lot so we'll see what happens but um hopefully he feels better i haven't been <laughs> taking care of myself this is actually i make my breakfast because it's so quick and easy but I haven't been able to do much because Reggie's at work. Um, and so he requires a lot of my time when he's not sleeping. And he um, he does fuss a lot and he coughs a lot. So I stay next to him because I don't want him to, you know, choke or whatever. Um, but hopefully his sickness pass uh, soon. And yeah, so I've just been taking care of him. And... The life of a mother. I love it. <laughs> but um, anyways, so I'm going to finish eating my stuff. By the way, Reggie bought me a Golden Girl shirt. Been loving them forever. Don't judge me. Best show on TV. Just saying. Betty White, shout out to you. you oh, I wanted to say too. If y'all haven't seen the show You on Netflix, it's very creepy, very weird, but it's so good. I told Reggie, like, the director or whatever of that show reminds me of the show 13 Reasons Why. If you agree with me, comment down below. I feel like it's the same, like, person who made that show because it has, like, a lot of similarities, a lot of, like, suspense. And then also, like, he talks to himself. I guess, what is it, in the third person? I don't know. But anyways, you have to watch the show. It's really, really good. 
I've been, we've been binge watching it every day since we saw it. It's really good, y'all. It's really creepy. And I love Shay Mitchell. Um, she's bomb. Man, I feel so bad because I saw the other day that she just had a miscarriage. And I couldn't even imagine going through what she's going through. That is just so sad. I wouldn't even wish that on anyone. Um, but anyways, it is a really good show. Y'all have to watch it. Leave a comment down below if you've already watched it. It's so good. It's so good. Y'all got to try it out, man. Please let me know if any of you try it out and see how it tastes. So, y'all, this is the coat. It's not, it's faux fur <laughs> before y'all come at us for having real fur and we don't. But this is what Reggie bought. Now, mind you, we live in New Orleans. Where is he going to wear this to? It's never this cold. <laughs> but he said this is his birthday gift to himself. So what the heck? If he's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, I love that crazy boy. Man, you're missing the show. Just be yourself. I can't believe myself. Huh? 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 You ain't gonna tell me when I wear that coat. It's not cold. Here. It's not cold here, baby. But I'm gonna be wearing my coat. Why are you mad? Why? Why? Why are you so mad at me wearing my coat? <laughs> <laughs> you really a hater, for real. You a hater for real. <laughs> you got a lot of when you feel better. We're gonna get my one. Show you guys the cleanser I've been using. I really like it a lot. It has. It doesn't have beads in it. Um, it has like some small little. Um, like, I don't know, it's like a scrub. I don't know. It's it's not like super abrasive though, but it really does brighten my skin because it has citrus in it. And, um, I feel like it really cleans my skin really well. And it's been helping with, um, pigmentation that I got from when I was pregnant because I was breaking out when I was pregnant. Then we've also been using the Tom's, uh, natural deodorant because what was the um ingredient? I forgot what it was. What is Oh, aluminum. Um, in other deodorants, it's not good for you. It causes cancer. So we've been using this and it actually is really, really good. It's thicker. So it really coats like any mustiness or stink, as I would say. And also for my moisturizer and serum, I've been using the rosehip oil because this also helps with, um, uneven skin tone and dark spots and wrinkles. So I put this on at night and it's a very lightweight, um, oil so it uh, absorbs into the skin a lot faster and easier and i've also been using this image uh vital c um eye recovery gel when i was in aesthetic school um we used to use this brand and it's really really good this has antioxidants and peptides to help with fine lines and dark circles um and so i'm just trying to reduce um any fine lines or dark circles because I'm staying up with a four-month-old baby all night and all day. <laughs> so let me know if you've tried any of these products. Um, they work for me. So let me know how they go. I want to try the Olay Whip Moisturizer, but I'm going to see how that goes because the rose hip oil has been working really well for me. So I don't want to stray away. But yeah, let me know what you've been using for your skin to let go of Christmas. I'm going to take this off. I want to see like what decor I can put up here something cute that I can like you know kind of make it a little bit more festive festive is not the word I want um just a little bit cuter up here what should I put you guys leave some ideas or suggestions down below and when I come up with something I will make a video like maybe like a DIY video or like a decor video so let me know if y'all have any ideas.